Hello and welcome back to Gas Beauty Old Tabletop Football, where we're continuing with this seated terrace build. Uh, now, I had a look at the videos, it was eight days ago I did the last one. It doesn't feel like eight days, it feels like um, I did it, well, not long ago, but I guess the working week takes up too much of our time. And during working week, I did get out here and I managed to do a few bits and pieces, and we'll talk through that now. So, uh, last time, what were we doing last time? I was on about we were going to extend the back, so I've done that. Let me turn it round because there was a spine of the MDF in there. Hope you can see that because I'm not behind the camera. Um, I put in two bits of it's just a bit of uh, what's that? A bit of pine, a bit of timber, scrap pine off some in that I chopped up. Uh, and I couldn't put a full length of it across because we've got this spine there, so I cut it now because I was cutting this with a and just a standard saw, the cuts had to be, effectively, they were about a millimetre and a half off on this one. So I had to fill the gap with a bit of MDF. I did think for a minute that I'd placed this mid spine, perhaps off centre, but I've measured it, measured it, measured it third and fourth time, and it is in the centre, so that's fine. Um, and it's this bit of timber here that was just, if you think this is three mil MDF, so it was just, basically two and a half mils short and so I packed it out with that that's not so much a problem on the back because obviously no one's going to be looking at it and on the other side you can barely see it anyway and this is going to be this is going to be covered a bit so it's going to come out a bit there so there is a bit of a gap but we're not too worried about that because we can fill it in now what I also did to that <clears throat> was once again got some thin wood screws can you actually see that yeah thin wood screws <clears throat> and drove them in there um it just it is all glued as well but it just gives a bit of extra stability so this this side pillar now is almost solid and i wanted that stability because well because this is two bits of wood split basically so there's only glue holding it in this side i mean in theory i could have drilled into one side and then just left one bit but we did it we've done it like that now what i also did in the week was I don't know if I'd done that. Had I done put these extra supports on? So you notice in the middle, it's sort of, sort of three pieces of MDF thick. And I cut these funny sort of upright and triangle pieces. Uh, and then I've I sort of bolstered up the sides so they're all three thick now, so it's all fairly solid. And then, I moved on, did quite a bit. I put in some of these runners here. Now all that is... You notice it's a little bit down, I'll show you about. So you've got the thickness of the MDF. It's, it, let me move that forward. You see that steps down there, so it forms a little ledge. And that's the whole point of that. That's going to be a ledge there to support our floor. Now, in theory, that looks like I need to cut it a bit. So I'm going to have to work out. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut that down. But once I cut this down, uh, these, in fact, shall I do that now? <coughs> the coffee's going, you'll be glad to hear. Right, so what we want is to cut off, this is one width, one width of the MDF uh, sheet, so it's the width of an A4 bit. And we want to cut off two thicknesses, in. thicknesses of it. And that is approximately about six mil. Now I already marked one thickness of it. Let's have a look, make sure it, I mean, that is a bit tight there, but I'll squeeze in and then that'll be perfect there. Yeah, so that'll go across there and that'll go across there. That has twisted slightly a couple of millimeters as I glued it, but once I put these floor plates in two of these it should it should line it up yeah it's a bit of a shame that um i can only get in here sort of and do a video sort of once a week really i would i'll be honest with you I, I would love to do it more often but as i'm sure it's the same for most of you As I already mentioned, you have to waste your working week actually working. 
not a great deal of uh, wage gain in uh, building some beauty of stadiums this way. I suppose if you 3D printed them, you could. So there we go. So that, oh, that's a bit of a tight squeeze. Bit of a tight squeeze. Well, that's going to fit in there, and then we're going to cut that so it's the right thickness. I wonder if that fits in the other side. Yeah, it fits in the other side a lot easier. I might have to shave off a couple of millimetres off that to fit that in. But you saw the idea. So basically, there's going to be a floor plate in there on both sides. I'm going to do it now. <laughs> Let's get it done. Hang on a minute. Let's check this is all square first. Yeah, that's fairly square. I'm going to say one millimetre comes off that. I am doing this bit sort of on the fly a bit. nice and square so all I'm doing is shaving that millimeter off there so you can fit it in yeah so it is a shame I can't do do videos like this more often I really would love to to be honest uh, but you know how it all is mortgages to pay and whatnot Maybe one day, someone in the Subutio community will uh, invent Subutio television. So that fits in there nicely. If I cut another one, I'll be able to fit that in. Yeah, Subutio te television, how about that? I know Subutio collector occasionally dabs into these videos and keeps an eye on what I'm doing. So uh, Stuart, if you're out there listening, how about setting up Subutio TV? If you need a presenter for the uh, Arts and Crafts Corner, then give me a shout. Right, so, let's cut that piece off there. This is a good thing about working with MDF is as long as you've got a ready, ready supply of it, I mean, you can just keep slicing and dicing until you get it right. So they're near enough the right width. That one slides in there. This one should push that front bit a bit. Oh, look at that. Right, so all we've got to do now is cut a bit of this front off so it matches that, and then I can glue that in. So that'll go about there. And this is what it's, get any idea now? Get any idea? It's getting there, isn't it? Well, we're here. Shall I try out some of the seats? These are the seats from Subutio Asylum. So how they basically go is, I'm gonna do a similar thing to the blue and white seated uh, stadium bit. Um, so there's going to be a bit of a gap where people walk up this to the seats and then we'll have to say a blue section and then above it a white section. Sort of like this, obviously they'll be glued down. And it's very similar to the blue and white terrace that I've got over there in the Castrugio Stadium. So that's what it's going to look like. And then up here, we'll have, um, I think we'll have a small, what I'll do is, say, put a, do another couple of steps, but up here. So we'll have a row of seats up there. And then maybe another row behind. And then behind that, we'll have to work out something for these little sort of boxed areas. So that's going to have a roof going up there. We'll have to get some sort of, um, clear plastic of, of some sort to create some windows. I did do something like that before in um, in the original terrace that I built, the Thatcher's one. There is at the back uh, something which I was actually going to, I was going to have a look at that. It's, it's basically, I created like a media centre with some cameras in there. And I tried to put some lights in it ages ago, but the battery ran out of them. 
and I was going to replace them because they weren't very bright. So I'm going to do a similar thing there. So that's where we're at. I hope that is helping you if you are following along. It is starting to take shape. And I think the next stage, what I'm going to do uh, is fill in this back bit, get a bit of the roof on. I don't want to completely, um, it's like the other terrace with the roof on. I haven't glued the roof down because it's useful to be able to get in it and, you know, do whatever you've got to do inside. So we'll perhaps put a fixed roofing part and a back there. I'm going to leave, I'm not going to go all the way to the top with pallet wood. I lift it up and you see, obviously that's a lot thicker than normal MDF because I want to run some lights in there as well somewhere. You know, some of these um, little LED sort of ribbon light things. Run that in there so that we can light it up. That will look quite pretty. Uh, and then obviously the doors will go there. So imagine that's that will look sort of clear and then that. And then obviously we'll have a roof on there. And then we can look at spraying it and then installing the seats. And eventually we'll have to get some fans. So we'll have to get hold of uh, one of our plucky spectator painters and see if we get some more Rovers fans. Right, happy with that? Everyone happy with that? Everyone got the idea of Subutio TV in their mind as well? It is Friday. I'm about to go in. Spend some time with the missus, watch Redneck Island. Cheers then. Oh, if you're going to football tomorrow, do give me a shout. Hang on, let me have a swig of beer. This is the first swig of beer I've had in about two weeks. Oh, lovely. So yeah, if you see me at Rovers tomorrow, uh, yeah, say hello. Until next time, have a gas.